Hey everyone, welcome back to Unboxing with Val. I have a new subscription to show you today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than some of my other ones because while I am taking something out of a package, I am also doing just a little bit more. So, it's kind of going to be a little different, like I said. Uh, this one, I am actually going to title it Wellness Wednesday. So we have a Mindful Monday, hashtag Mindful Monday, and that is my Mindful Soul subscription that I show on my channel every Monday whenever I get the box. And this one will actually be Wellness Wednesday. This is a subscription wellness journal. So this wellness journal, some of you may have heard of this journal, it is Silk and Sonder and it says grow your own way. And I had to put this to cover my address. Anyway, so yes, it's the Silk and Sonder September journal. So we'll go ahead and open it. I'm kind of excited for this journal because I'm hoping that it'll help me I'm hoping that it'll help me stay more mindful and keep up with my wellness. Okay, so initial thoughts of the journal. I thought it was going to be something more around this size. Let me find one of my little notebooks that I have here. So I thought it would be something more around this size kind of more just the same height and the same width going this way but it is actually a tad bit longer so this is kind of the journal compared to my this one my planner uh, so I did think it was gonna be a little bit smaller I guess and it is made of paper so it feels like recycled paper or cardstock and it says silk and sonder september 2023 it seems that the theme for this month for september 2023 is flourish which i think is great this is their 72nd edition and it is made with love in california where i am from i am actually from california uh but this is just the back it just says what edition it is and it just says where it is made. And it's got those, these gold bindings. Okay, so now we're going to kind of go through it. So in order for me to go through it, I'm going to change the camera angle. Okay, everyone. So we've got our little notebook set up. As I said, the theme of September 2023 is Flourish. And I'll go ahead and read this for all of you. So, it says, ah, September, the hustle and bustle of going back to school, bidding a complete farewell to summer and an, emerging, and an emerging excitement for fall. I have fond memories of September because I was a child who loved school. While my summers were littered with all kinds of summer camps, coming back to school to meet my new teacher and rekindle my friendships was a whole other level of joy. This month's theme of flourish brings me back to my elementary school days, the days when the younger version of me held equal parts curiosity and a confidence, a limitless desire to learn, and an innate level of ambition before I knew there was a word for it. September for many years was an opportunity to flourish, to, re to revel in the knowledge and wisdom that my new teacher would impart, to retry and feed to retry in PE physical education and to have exams and standardized tests so far away that it didn't get in the way of learning. To flourish is to be in flow, energized and unstoppable. To allow yourself to feel full freedom and a journey to learn, absorb, and iterate. This is the state many of us long to remain in. It's when all areas of our lives are moving in complete harmony. When I have uninterrupted weekends, I allow myself to flourish. From my morning coffee to my Pilates class to my journal. Those seemingly small self-care hacks are truly the first dominoes in allowing myself to flourish in action, abundance, and joy. So ask yourself this month, what do you need to flourish? Where do you need to be? And who do you need to be around? 
Which areas of your life are you longing to flourish in? How can you carve out the time, space, and energy to create those habits so that you can flourish successfully? Because when you flourish, you invite others around to you to flourish as well. With love, Miha, your, your silken sonder creator. So the next page says, flourish is a verb which means to grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way, especially as a result of a particular favorable environment. And the next page we have is a 2023 calendar. So it just starts from January and it goes all the way to December. The page after is just the September calendar. So the whole month of September. Happy September, by the way. It is September 1st. The next month is a future log, and it starts from October, and it goes into November, so just the next two months. And just a grid page. Okay, so page 8 includes August Reflections. So in this one is where I do my August wins, August challenges, August favorite moments, what do I want to start, stop, and continue? Start, stop, continue. And then the next month it shows September intentions. So my intentions with spiritual health, physical health, money management, personal life, key relationships, and professional goals. And then we have a mood tracker. And we have a habit tracker, which is this is what I want to focus on is the habit tracker. Uh, so the habits that I probably put are contact my family because I live a thousand miles away from my family uh, to work out once a day eat a one healthy meal every day I don't know so those are just some examples of my habit tracker the next page is a sleep tracker. That might actually be a really good one to keep track of. A gratitude jar. That's what I'm grateful for. Flourishing journal prompts. To flourish is to find fulfillment in our lives, to connect with others on a deeper, meaningful level. Write your answers to these prompts. When was the last time you lost track of time? What were you doing? Where were you and who were you with? What's one way you like to recharge after a long, busy day? How can that one thing help you practice real rest, even on busier sick days? And then the next thing is Ikigai. Ikigai is a Japanese concept that means a reason for being. The, world, uh, the word refers to having a direction or purpose in life, that which one makes one's life worthwhile and towards which an individual intentional action is giving them satisfaction and sense of meaning of life. For each of these areas, write down ideas that apply to get closer to knowing your ikigai. Use notes page for more room. And then there's a Times Square billboard. Another a quote a flourishing quote. It says, the purpose of this glorious life is not simply to endure it, but to soar, stumble, and flourish. As you learn to fall in love with existence, we were born to live, my dear, not to merely exist. And that quote is from Becca Lee. Then we have a little drawing page, coloring page. Then we have noticing nature game. Then we have a recipe. Ooh, I'm excited for this. A uh, pork chops with an apple cider glaze. I don't eat pork so maybe I could do lamb chops or something I don't know then we have a flourishing mon um, flourishing mandala which you can color that would be a cool thing to color grids more grid pages word wheel that'll be good monthly expense tracker and then week 35 we just have calendar, weekly to-dos, this week I want to feel, weekly major three goals, and then at the bottom, habit slash activity, goal total. And we have a meal planner, which that will be very beneficial because I need to start meal planning, a mind-body health plan, shopping list, I am loving, and then it goes to 
this is mm, I guess this is just notes too so it says one thing weather one thing weather grids grids scratch pad and that's pretty much and then the weekend and then it just goes week 36 and it follows that same pattern oh and then actually <laughs> it goes currently loving feeling enjoying so it does skip oh and then there's a quote by Oprah Winfrey and it says whether you flounder or flourish is always in your hands you are the single biggest influence in your life your journey begins with a choice to get up step out and live fully and then it goes back week 37 and then it goes week 38 and then after week 38 it goes to week 39 and then after week 39 just notes more notes and that is the end so it's got a few pages dedicated to your how you want to do your week and then that's it has a few pages to just journaling which I think is great I also got stickers from the store to kind of have fun with my journaling so I got these stickers some little uh, smiley faces, rainbow smiley faces. I got some cute little kid stickers. My Little Pony brings back so many memories. And I also got princess stickers to kind of have fun with journaling. And I will have the link to Silk and Sonder down below as I do with all of my other videos. So go ahead and check the link down below for Silk and Sonder if you're interested in subscribing to this monthly journal or if you want to if you're interested in getting to know it, you don't have to necessarily subscribe, but if you do want to subscribe, link will be down below. And everyone, I hope you enjoyed this new subscription journal that I have brought to my channel. And I hope you all have a great Wellness Wednesday and a wonderful rest of your day. This was the Silken Saunders September 2023 unpackaging, unboxing and stay tuned for my next month. Bye everyone!